This is a surprise. Oh, hello. I've been listening to your record. Hope you don't mind. Oh, no. Anytime you want to. Just help yourself. Where's Wong? He's gone to the airport to send a friend off. I'm waiting for him to give me a little talk. I can drop you. It's all right. He'll be back soon. Why are you so frightened of me? Why should I be? Well, I don't know. I feel it, anyhow. Look, Chime, about that night, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean it, you know. I really don't know what happened. Oh, forget it. You must think I'm quite a rake. Oh, no, no. You're a man, aren't you? All men are equal and also the same. <laughs> <laughs> you have a low opinion of men. Well, I wasn't a nightclub singer for nothing, you know. In my days, I have seen all types. The lonely, the vain, the layabout, the playboy, the whole lot. Some of them enjoy a good song. It brings some romance into their colourless lives. But the rest come to see how high the slits of my chum sum is, or how low my neckline is. It must have been a torture to you. Me? No, I enjoyed it. Which woman does not enjoy being admired? It had a strange sort of fascination for me. For that brief few minutes of a song, I was the sure of all eyes in the audience, mostly men and some women. I sing to them of their far away, perhaps unattainable dreams, or of a one-time romantic past, but never about the present. That few moments, they joined with me in an escape from the real world. I, a little nobody, was the cheerleader of their escape, of men who might be guiding the fate of other men. Sounds fun. But I'm sure you are glad it's all over. I expected you to say that. Why? Because you think like the rest that has never experienced the harshest struggle of life, that someone whom you think comes from a questionable past should lift himself out of it in order to join your ranks. Which one of you would be proud of the fact that he was once a shop assistant or a laborer? Everyone tries to hide his past. For me, it is part of a lifelong experience. It seems to me that that kind of experience has given you a contemptuous kind of inverted snobbery. I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? You have, but I'm sure you're not sorry about it. Ever since we met, you have been going all out for my guts. I wonder why. I don't know. The temptation to go for your guts, as you put it, is so strong that I can't resist it. Perhaps you're the first English educated man I've met who can give it back equally hard. I always love a good argument. You know, Ching Mei, I like you. Do you? I may have been an ex-nightclub singer, but I'm not that easy going with men. I'm not trying a stunt with you, Ching Mei. I mean what I say. Sure. I think there are other girls around for you. I'm not one of them. You fascinate me, Ching Mei. That night, you even left your slip behind. Now, I can't even touch you. Oh, I see. That slip is your green light, is it? Oh, Guaman, does not that prove my point? You are like the rest of them. I might as well say to convince you. I'm afraid I am falling in love with you. Why afraid? Because it's like telling it to a brick wall that is just cold and lifeless. <laughs> How can you tell a girl in one breath that you are in love with her and in suffer in the next breath? You are the most unpolished lover that I've ever come across. I know. I'm only in my elements after a few dreams. <laughs> I see. You need inspiration. <clears throat> well then. What do you want me to sing? Whatever you like. I'm flattered. What is your answer? 